This is a short tutorial on how to use the solderless breadboard. What we have is a 9 volt battery and the red is connected into the positive rail, the black is connected into the negative rail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple LED circuit. I'm going to take from the red, the positive, just into one of the rows. These are connected, the red and the blue go this way. In this area, each row is connected across, and that's in two banks, the right hand side and the left hand side. So I'll take one of my short jumpers, which is just made out of a piece of the wire. We'll pop that into the negative, bring that across to the row below the resistor. What it gives me the opportunity to do is take my LED and join those two rows together by pushing it in. The power's coming from the battery up the plus through the resistor, which in this case is 470 ohms, through the LED, back through the purple link, and down to the negative. We can make it a little bit more complicated. We could have two. And what we'll do there is we'll move the negative link down just to give us some room. We'll pop the green LED in. We'll pop the red LED in. And then we'll complete the circuit with the yellow LED. And all three light. Going back to where we were. They just pop out. If we take the LED, there's two different lengths of length, leg on an LED. The long one is the one we want to connect to the positive. So towards the hole, drop it straight in. If we get it wrong, we put the LED in the wrong way around, it doesn't light. There's no problem. It's not damaged anything. We just turn it around, pop it back in. As you see, we can experiment and swap these as often as we want. They're totally reusable and very quick and simple. The only thing to watch out for is if we replace that resistor with a direct link. And I'm going to tell you not to try this at home. So just while we set it up, I'll remove the positive. When we put our LED in, as soon as we connect the positive, there is no resistance to limit the, country, the current going through the LED, and they are particularly greedy, so it's going to take as much as this battery can produce. And what will happen is, it will destroy it. There we go. Don't try this at home. You've seen me do it. No need for you. Let's go back as we were before with our LED and although it's made everybody jump with the amount of current we've just pushed through hmm, there's no real damage caused because we can take our LED and the breadboard will still work perfectly <laughs> 